Once again, she's late. She's always so worried about impressing other hands. I mean, yeah, she's 32 and single, but there's still plenty of time to find another hand to hold. I bet she's fussing with those ridiculous fake eyelashes in hopes to pick up a nice stud. Oh, finally, here she is. Hey, gorgeous. I'm sorry I'm late. I just walked past a bar fight and got stuck in a little traffic. Really? What happened? I think they were dwarf tossing. Uh, dwarf what? You know, dwarf tossing where they throw velcroed covered midgets at a wall or see how far they can throw them. It's all competition. I must say, I do feel kind of bad for those little guys. Um, I'd have to agree. That's horrible. Isn't there a rule against that kind of behavior? To be honest, I have no idea. I mean, yeah, it's sad and gross, but there's no rules against walking around naked in Vermont, and that's gross, too. Like, who would want to see a group of old hens playing chess in the nude or something? How do you know this? Have you been to Vermont? Kara, I led a very interesting life. I prefer not to go into details right now, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand. But anyways, how have you been? Good, I hope. I've been good. I mean, you know, still searching for the right hand, but hopefully that will come in time. I actually have a surgery coming up. Did I tell you about that yet? No! What's wrong with you? Are you okay? Oh, no worries. I will be fine. I unfortunately have an ingrown nail. Every time I walk, I feel it digging into me. I mean, if I pop a couple Advil extra strengths in, I'm normally okay for a few hours. That is sad news. I'm so sorry. I hope that surgery goes over smoothly. I actually once heard a story that this panda that had an ingrown nail, apparently it went unnoticed for so long it developed gangrene and caused the panda to chew its own foot off. Well, that's reassuring. I mean, I may be crazy, but I would never chew one of my five extremities off because of pain. Hopefully our doctors are more advanced these days and could stop me before I ever came to that. Oh, I'm sure they are. With all the schooling they go through, they're bound to know something. Speaking of doctors, my nephew is going to graduate school at Handerton University. I'm so proud of him. Really? Wow. What is he specializing in? Constructive and cosmetic surgery. With the media portraying such wonderful nail beds nowadays, he will probably make a fortune. Everyone will come to him in hopes of achieving perfect nail beds. I'm hoping he'll do mine for discount. That's wonderful! Although I'm not sure how much I agree with the cosmetic surgery bullcrap. Who says we need to look like those perfect models with perfectly smooth skin, perfect nail beds, and unchafed knuckles? That's almost impossible to fight against during the cold. There's only so much surgery can do. He's a greedy little hand at work. He's only in it for the money. But he has one large brain, let me tell you. He knows absolutely everything from what the genetic makeup of dogs are to when a fruit is ripe. He's a genius. You know, you bring up a good topic. I can never tell when fruit is ripe, especially watermelon. I swear that knock on it to see if it sounds hollow theory does not work. Really? I always go by that. Then again, I never really noticed if my watermelon was ripe or not. <gasps> what in God's name was that? Damn it, they must be on to round two of the dwarf throwing. I mean, yeah, it's morally wrong, but wanna watch?